Hi there, it's Sherry. Um, today I will be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, some of the products I'm going to be using today I got from an, or a really good organization named uh, Ipsy. And Ipsy is an organization that will send you a makeup bag or a box of makeup samples. Um, Depending on which one you get, it ranges from, I believe, $10 for the bag, and for the Ipsy Plus, it's $25, I believe. Um, and they send it to your house uh, once a month, and it comes with five, the bag comes with five small sample size products, and the box comes with five full size sample products. Uh, and it's just a really good organization that they base off of a personal profile that you take at the very beginning of the um, process. You log on to, or you go onto the website and they give you that, sur that um, survey that they put on your personal profile and you create your personal profile. And the professionals down at Ipsy will take that, pers uh, that personal profile and they will make it your um, makeup palette kind of thing that they use um, every month to create this bag for you that you can take home and or that you get at your home comes to your door you open it it's kind of like Christmas because you don't really know what you got um, that kind of thing and I really do enjoy using Ipsy just because of the fact that um, the Ipsy program does open up a world of experimentation with makeup and opens up a world of new products for people who don't really know much about makeup um, now to start off the video, I'll be recreating my mom's wedding look. So my mom, four, no, five, about five and a half, six years ago, my mom got remarried to my stepdad, and her dress was really pretty, her makeup was really pretty, so I decided that I am going to recreate her makeup look. Um, again, she got hers professionally done, and I am not a professional yet. But she got hers professionally done, so it's going to look different than mine. But it's going to look similar. Now, I actually remember her makeup from memory, so I don't need a reference picture. I don't have one. I remember hers from memory because I went with her to her appointment to get her makeup done. And I remember that's when I wanted to start doing makeup a lot more because it seemed fun and cool. So, really, this is just kind of where my creative mind got started. So I'm going to try to follow the steps in the way that the lady did it who did my mom's makeup. She started off with the eyebrows. Now she just filled them in natural, like following the natural line. I need a mirror because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows. So I'm going to use a mirror that's in the Tetris thing, but I'm going to angle it so you can still kind of see. So I'm kind of lining underneath to create a straight line going across following the natural shape of my brow Now my eyebrows are obviously thicker than my mom's, but that's fine. We're just going to follow the natural shape of the eyebrow and fill it in. And then we're going to fill it in to make it look as natural as possible. So at the front here. You want to do individual hair strokes going from that line up to make it more sparse and more natural. And then I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm just going to blend this out like so. And do the same thing to the other eye. So brush the hairs up, do a 
line underneath. Brush them down and follow the natural shape of your brows. Fill them in. And the individual hair strokes at the very front. And blend those out with that spoolie. Now I'm going to go in with foundation, and I'm using the um, Maybelline New York Fit Me foundation in the shade Fair Ivory, and I want to get a full coverage, so I want to put a lot on my face. Just because my face is red. Okay. Now I'm going to take that beauty blender and blend it out. Being careful of the eyebrows, just so we don't mess them up. Blending that in and making it one, sh uh, all one color and getting full coverage helps with getting one color, especially if you have red, if you have a red face like I do. My brushes are down here. Okay, now it's time for concealer. And before we put the concealer on the rest of our face, I'm actually going to apply it underneath my um, eyebrows to shape them and make them cleaner. So I'm going to take this uh, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade uh, Light Peach. I'm going to pick some up on a flat brush. And just clean up that bottom edge of the eyebrow and the top edge as well to make them nice and sharp eyebrows like so and I'm just going to take the, that uh, um, again, that same concealer, and just apply it. In the high points of the, of the face. Now to blend out underneath the eyebrows, I'm going to use a blend, uh, uh, blending brush and blend that out down toward the nose and the temple and then down toward the eyelid. And then for the top, just blend that out toward the temple. And do the same thing for the other eyebrow. Down toward the temple, or the eyelid, toward the temple. Toward the nose. Okay. 
and then for the rest of it we're going to take that beauty blender and just blend all of this into the foundation that we applied. Now we're going to set that with this Rimeo London Stay Matte Translucent Powder and a nice fluffy brush. And we're just going to set this in place. Now we're going to go in and I'm going to do the eyes and her eye look was very simple. It was one color across the lid and it was a glitter champagne color. So we have this Naked Cosmetics loose powdered, uh, loose pigment uh, eyeshadow in the shade Sierra Nevada SN02. And it's a nice champagne color. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm just going to pick some of that up. And just blend that across my lid. And we're done. My mom wanted more of a natural look for her wedding because it was her second wedding. So she didn't want to like overwhelm everything with the makeup. So she just did a simple champagne shimmer. Alright, now we're going to go do eyeliner and I'm going to take a pencil eyeliner and I'm going to line right on top of the eyelashes. So this is the Wet n Wild uh, Coal Crayon uh, Pencil in the shade Baby's Got Black. And like I said, my mom wanted simple so there was no wing. And then I'm going to line my lower lash, my lower waterline with that same pencil. Then I'm going to go in with this um, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and just apply that to the eyelashes. Now, my mom didn't wear bronzer or contour, but she did wear blush, so I'm going to take a, this blush right here and that fluffy brush that we used to set our foundation and just apply a little bit on the cheeks to add color back to the face. Now for lips, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use two lipsticks. I'm going to use this um, Revlon H Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and this doesn't have a shade on it, but then I'm going to go over it with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. She didn't have on highlighter either, because highlighter wasn't a big thing. And 
And then I'm going to go over that with the butter gloss. And that's it. Now I recreated recreated my mom's wedding look. Uh, so we did a nice straight line bar liner on the upper uh, eyelid. Um, yeah, we did a nice bar liner with some mascara, a nice champagne shimmery eyeshadow to keep it natural. We did a nice liner. We did a light blush, a, blu uh, a light dusting of the blush. Those are tongue twister. We did a nice pinky neutral lip color with a, and then we did a little bit of, our, we did our eyebrows normally, and we cut, we um, shaped them as well. And that's it. Uh, if you want to see more videos, please check out my channel and subscribe. Stay wonderful and see you next time. Bye.